Dean, tomorrow, tomorrow we travel to Dover, Dover Athletic, who are currently sitting bottom of the league. Uh, what are you expecting going into the game? Uh, they've got a lot of raw pace, plenty of bundles of speed within the team, and they've caused most teams problems this year. I've looked at all of their games, to be honest with you. Um, so there's no easy games in the division, and uh, them being bottom, obviously, they've had a 12 point deduction, but they have picked up some results, so, and they're going to be a very difficult opponent. Um, you've got to earn the right to win football matches at this level. And you think we're just going to stroll up there and win? You've got no chance. You know we've only won one game this season out of ten, so our record isn't great either. No disrespect, you know what I mean. So we've got to walk our socks off. We've got to give our all. Um, yes, they have frailties. Yes, we have frailties. We're in our team, so well we need to improve. So we need to get better in possession. That's so important. We need to penetrate a little bit better. Uh, I'd like to see us try score a few more goals, and that's sort of the game plan tomorrow. I mean, the, the lads battled hard to, to a point at Kings Lynn. Uh, how are the lads faring off the, off the back of that? Yeah, a lot of character, you know, a lot of grit within the game. It was one of the typical, it was a great National League night, to be honest with you. We could have, we could have won it in the end. We showed the character where we went up the other end. We could have won it in the end. And we could have lost at our stages as well within the game. We had, we had to make a penalty save. So if I was Kings Lynn, I'd be a bit disappointed I didn't take all three points. But from our point of view, we respect the point. And, and no point in this division is easy to come by. So you just got to give your all, we've got to make sure we're on the front foot and we ask loads of questions of the opposition. Wesley Funga got back out on the pitch uh, on, on Tuesday night, you must be pleased for him. Delighted, he's been out for 10 months, you know, now for a long time and we've just got to manage his minutes now, you know, because he's, there'll be a lot of uh, sort of euphoria from his point of view, we've just got to make sure that we keep his feet firmly on the ground and we manage his minutes, it's so important. We've got to do that with a few players. Ideally, you pick the same team every week. And you don't have to make many substitutions, but because we've had so many players not have full pre seasons coming back from injury, we just got to manage people's minutes so we can, you know, ha have longevity within our team um, and make sure the team starts picking, picking itself as soon as possible. Oh, have you got any team news for, for the fans uh, ahead of tomorrow's trip? Yeah, this is some disappointing news. Adam Murray's got a dead leg, which is quite frustrating. Um, and Donis Vassalou extends his loan at Beaconsfield. Um, so we've got a couple of niggles, a couple of injuries around the place. So. You're going to get that. This is what happens in this division. You travel all the way up to Kings Lynn. Like I say, it's a brutal evening and uh, people pick up uh, little niggles. But it's an opportunity for someone else to come into the team and uh, hopefully they can, uh, they can do the business. We've created a few openings in the last few matches, but we haven't quite scored quite as many as we would have liked. What, what, what needs to happen to, for that to change? Yeah, we need to get in better. Uh, we need to control the ball better. You know, we need to control the game with the ball much better. So it's not a basketball match. That happened a little bit again the other night. So, you know, that's just from starting positions, um, using the ball a little bit better, less touches, more passes. And then we can find people like Efron, people like Pauli, people like Hawley. They're creative players. We need to feed them as much as we can. So that's sort of what we've been working on uh, the latter part of the week. So hopefully we can, uh, we can penetrate the game plan tomorrow. We should be back by by a good number of bees fans down down the south coast on uh, on Saturday. Well, we've got to give them something to sing about. We say that every week. It's so important that we've got to get on the front foot before we do anything. We're passing the ball. We've got to walk our socks off. You know, we really have to get on the front foot. Get after the opposition. Make as many tackles as possible in their half, and uh, hopefully we'll earn the right to pass the ball. And uh, hopefully we can come out uh, away at Dover with three points. Like we thanked our support the night. Fantastic support by our supporters. It's a long way to go on a Tuesday night and. We know Dover's a long way to go as well, so hopefully we give them something to sing about.